Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. I'm going to show you how to create a shield or a, like a badge or a shield three different ways. Well, really two different ways, but add a new twist to it. We can change the nodes and change the nodes and change the nodes. But just the other day, I made a video, if you select that one and that one holding down the shift key, and you have uh, reflect the nodes vertically, you can change both nodes at the same time. You know, like this, you can click off, click off that. Basically does the same thing. I don't know why, I guess it's moving out horizontally too evenly. Uh, it's really the same thing. But the easiest way is to do it, you know, to get it look like this, is to, first of all, take away some nodes that are down here that we don't really need and put maybe that guy like right in the middle. But what we're going to do is hit P and put it in the center of the page. Whoop. I put the, the node in the center of the page. I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. You can see that that's a clip art. So it's pretty off now, pretty bad shape. And we're going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. And we're basically going to cut one side away. Now we need a sharp point on this one side. Let's bring this picture in a little bit closer. And this is something that would actually trace pretty good. I would almost feel assured. Let's get on that line and let's make that a little sharper. And then let's make our, this, you know, this needs to be taller and this needs to be maybe out a little bit. You could play around with this till the cows come home. And I say that a lot and I'm sorry, that's a, probably an American uh, country slang saying, but uh, control D and make a duplicate and then move it over. And now you, boy, I'm way off. And what I'm going to show you next is pretty neat because it's going to, so there's, there's the badge. But what you could do to make it look more symmetrical on both sides, it's symmetrical, but to make it look like that, if you have Corel Draw 2018 or above, you can go to the symmetry tool, create a new symmetry, and you've got that one. We're going to move this one into the line. And what's so neat about this, any movement that we make on one side is going to do it on the other side. Uh, kind of like reflecting the nodes, but, uh, and you can kind of see my artistic ability uh, isn't very good to make it look like that badge. That's not too bad. I've got too much of a slope here, possibly. You know, maybe bring this one in a little bit. But see how it's doing both sides at one time? And then all you have to do is take your guideline or finish it, and then you've got it, and I'm way off. But, and I would always take my Smart Fill tool and fill that in. What that's going to do is going to seal up any nodes that are broken, and we have that shield. Now, like I said, this would trace really well, and you could even hand trace this. You know, this is a, a great... Uh, one to hand trace if you start with a, you know, in this, I'd even start with a three point curve line and go from that node to that node and then just bring it down. Then click on that node to that node and bring it down. And watch what's going to happen. We're going to move our bitmap out of the way. We're going to control D and duplicate it, holding down the control button and mirroring it. Now, what I said earlier about the nodes might not be perfect and they're not. You can see that that's not perfect, but they are joined enough to probably stop the smart fill tool. I always put a rectangle around my smart fill just in case, and that way it doesn't bleed out all over the page and crash your computer and waste a lot of time. But that one did not. And what I'm going to show you now is if you left click, right click, left click, no fill, right click, outline, that node that was not joined is now joined. Now you can join those nodes at any time with the join docker. I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Let's uh, make this video a little bit more uh, educational. I'm gonna grab that line. I'm gonna hold down the shift key. I'm gonna grab that line and I'm gonna select both those. I'm gonna to go to Windows dockers and join curves and watch what happens. Now that is, you don't have to do anything. And you could also weld that we need to do the bottom too, but that's why the smart fill tool is pretty cool because you need, so you need to grab it with the shape tool 
and then select both those and hit apply. And the reason I didn't have to shift select that one because we've already joined it up there and it's actually one object now. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.